2010 Camaro strut tower brace installation. Step one is to remove the retaining disc on top of the strut by removing this uh, locking nut here. And we're going to do this on both sides of the vehicle. Now, as part of your installation kit, you're going to receive two centering discs. These centering discs are going to slip down inside between the strut itself and the sheet metal strut tower, and it's going to slip right inside there, and that is going to help us to uh, center up our strut tower brace carefully place the strut tower brace onto each tower. Making sure that our centering disc is in the inner bore of the top of the strut tower bracket. Then we're going to put our discs back on which is going to clamp the bracket portion of the strut tower brace down to the strut tower itself. And that'll help hold it in place for locating your drilling points. And once that's done we're ready to locate our drilling points for our fasteners. You can do it one of two ways. You can actually use this as the template to drill. Okay, I don't recommend that because uh, you will scuff the powder paint with the drill. Instead, I recommend using a transfer punch and we would drop it into the hole and then set it with a hammer which would give us our center point for our drill. First I would remove the strut tower brace once again. I would start on your uh, center point with a small pilot drill first. Now this is a double wall strut tower, so you're going to have to go through both of them into the spring cavity. Once that's completed, step up to your clearance size drill. Now you have four fastening points per strut tower. Get all of those drilled, deburred if necessary, and then we're ready to fasten our strut tower brace down with the 3 8 bolts that are provided in your installation kit. Be sure to remove those centering rings that uh, you used to locate your strut tower brace. They are not necessary once your holes are drilled and this thing's fastened in place. Let's check for our hole alignment. Looks good. And we're ready to fasten this. So the first thing I would do, and you might ask a buddy to help you on this one, to get your bolts in place. Okay, and then reaching up inside where the spring and strut cavity is, that's where you're going to uh, put your nuts, lock washers, flat washers on there and secure this strut tower brace down. And uh, 
Be careful not to over tighten it because like I said, this is a double wall strut tower. And uh, once those lock washers crush, you're in good shape. You shouldn't need to um, tighten them any further. And that's it. Fairly straightforward installation.